Good morning, my name is Malcolm Brands and I'm the director of the Arapahoe Community College Library. The purpose of this video is to show you a set of clickers, which we have right here, that you can check out from the library. Within the set, there are 32 clickers. And the purpose of the clickers is to allow you to ask your class a question and then up to 32 people in the class can give you an immediate response to your question and you will know if they are understanding what you are talking about. Let's start off by looking at a sending device or a clicker. This is a, you press on this button and it turns it on, there's a little LCD panel that lights up. Now the clicker has many different options for you, A, B, C, D, E, or 1, 2, 3, up all the way through 0. But what we're going to do today is a true and false. And our purpose of this video is to allow you to understand about clickers, get started with clickers, and then you can determine if you want to explore more with use of clickers within the classroom. Now for true and false, what we're doing today, A is true, B is false, and then what you do is you press like, is it daytime today? So you say yes, so that's true, and you go A, and then you push the send button. Now what will happen is that sometimes a person will push the send button, and if they hadn't pushed A hard enough, there will be an error, and I can show you that later on with this, uh, with the software. So, the other part that comes that you check out from the library is called a RF receiver. And it's really a USB and it goes up to 100 feet as far as receiving messages from the clickers. Now the RSB fits right into the slot. You have to put it in the right way. And that's part of what you need. The other part is the software. Now there are two computer, laptop computers, and we circulate computers to faculty here in the library that have this CPS, Classroom Performance System, software already loaded on. So what I've done to save time with this video, which we're trying to do within 10 minutes, is that I've already brought up the CPS program. Now the key issue with the CPS program and a library computer is that when the library computer is turned off, everything that has been inputted on the CPS program disappears. So what we highly recommend is that you use a uh, flash drive to store the information as you've gone through this. Now when you start up the software, you always get this help menu and there's 33 different instructional videos and it really can do quite a bit. What I'm going to show you now is the basic first page with the CPS system. The first page is there's a prepare button and that's when you put the class together and you put the students in the class. The second button is the engage button and that's when you're asking the students questions and they send back their response and it records them. And then the final button is the report buttons. You can do all kinds of things such as taking role and things of that sort but we're not going to talk about that today. We're talking about the 10 question true and false. So we go to the prepare button and below that is a plus. Okay and you can either start a new class or you can either start a new class or a student and we click on that and we say we're going to put in a student. Well the student comes right in here and there's a name, first name, last name, and then the pad ID. The pad ID is very important because this is pad number 79 and we have number 79 is Larry Stooge and that's his pad so you know who is getting the right answer and who is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this new student because we only have three students here that we need. So this is where you're going to spend some time. You're going to put your students in and it's going to, if you have 30 students, it's going to take you a while, but it is a one-time deal for that class as far as using the clickers. Then I am going to the next tab, which is the Engage tab. So I click on that 
and you have a different screen. What we have is we have a psychology quiz that we already put in. It's fairly straightforward. I can, what I'm going to do is I press on this button, which is the engage. It comes up with verbal questions setup. Okay? You name the session title, and we have pop quiz, session category quiz, and then default class is the class. So we say okay. So what happens is that everything seems to disappear, but we have these little buttons on the top, and let's just talk about the verbal. I click on verbal, and I go true and false. Then what happens is it says that uh, the receiver is unable to communicate. Let's just see if that is true. I'm okay, so it didn't. All right. What happens is that you sometimes you run into. Uh, uh, issues with this and what I'm going to do is crash on this that's okay I'm going to close this and then what happened with this is that I put the RF receiver in and it did not connect I will try it one more time And I'm going back into Engage, and I'm going into the Psychology Quiz, Quiz 1, and we already have it prepared, have gone over this again. So I go Verbal, True and False, I have number 79 here, I go True, it is daytime, that's the question, I send, and good deal. It, by reconnecting the RF receiver, we get a response. Now, excuse me, if I have number 77 and I think that I have pushed the response and I push send, what will happen is that I get an X and a brown background of the screen. That means that the student did not push, I push B, I push send, and yes, that has been received. Richard, my assistant, will now push number 78 and push send, and that has been received. Next, I go to the end box right here, and you'll notice that it's writing the session data. And then what it shows is that two people chose true, one person chose false. And I can put these into different charts. Now what I can also do is I can show that true was correct and the false is the green. So it gives you immediate feedback. I can also close this and it will tell you the cumulative percent that were correct and it gives you a lot of feedback. What I'm going to do, usually I go up to this X box and close something like this, but this is another X box and this is what you're supposed to do as far as closing. Now, it, again, I can go back to verbal, I can ask another question, I can go up to 10 questions, that's what our quiz was set for, but let's move on. I'm going to close this, and I'll say yes, I'm closed, and then I'm finished with the engage screen. Now, you even have, you have lessons and assignments, team activities, and attendance even, as I mentioned. So I'm going to the report tab. Now, the report tab has the session title, and it's with a default, and it has time of day, and it has a lot of information that you can uh, use. Then you can go into the reports, and it's not coming up, but okay, let's go. I have to highlight one of it, and then I go into the reports, excuse me. And then I can do summary of the reports, I can preview it. It can show me that the three different students what percent, one guy 100% right, but really this is an engagement tool. What it does is that it allows you to work with the students. It will take that student that sometimes may be sleepy in class, and we all have some classes that have that student, and they have to respond. They have to stay with the class. And it has gotten very good reviews by those who use it. Yes, it does take some work. Yes, it's much more complex than what we showed you today, but and I'm going to hit the close button or click on the close button and then I'm going to close this and that is the clicker technology